Is Angela Brown a scam artist? Well, that's a great question, and I'm Angela Brown, and I'm not a scam artist, but I'm gonna answer the question today. This is Ask a House Cleaner, and this is a show where you get to ask a daily question, I get to help you find an answer. So we're here every single day, we're here to help you grow your business, and in the process, we've upset a few people along the way. For whatever reason, most likely it was because they got booted out of a Facebook group, and they became angry and volatile, and we've had lots of threats along the way because there are some people in social media that are somewhat unstable. So that said, I've been accused of a whole bunch of weird things. All right, so this week we're addressing all of those issues. We're gonna get it out in the open and then you will know the truth from the horse's mouth. Uh, I would be the horse's mouth. <laughs> okay, so am I a scam artist? The answer is no, I'm not. But here's where it comes from. Here's the root of that accusation. If you go to the internet and you start piecing all the puzzle pieces together, in the sidelines of my business, I've been a house cleaner for 30 some years, in the sidelines of my business, I have pursued other interests. And the other interests are things like marketing and business and Toastmasters. I was in Toastmasters for 12 years to learn about public speaking and presenting myself in public, which then helped me on my walkthroughs as a house cleaner. I also took some acting classes, which helped me understand the nuances of how people present themselves and the things they say when they actually mean something else. So in the process of taking sales and marketing training, which led me to an acting class and taking an acting class, part of the acting class was going on auditions. And as I went on the auditions, I got a few small parts. So there's this other part of my business, which would be similar to you singing in the church choir or you volunteering on a committee in the community or something like that. We have other interests in our lives besides just our job. And that's hopefully you do if you're a well-rounded person, you're gonna have other interests that will follow you through your life. They will change, you will have different hobbies, you will have different interests, but hopefully there's not just one track in your life that is your house cleaning, right? So on the sidelines of my business, and this is, this is where it comes from, we have 168 hours in a week. So if you work 40 hours a week, you still have 128 hours a week to do other things. Now, some of that is sleeping time, some of it's commute time, some of it's eating time or socializing, but there should be something else going on in the background of your life just to keep your life interesting and to inform you and to help educate you and help move you along your way. So as I took an acting class, here's the catch. I got a part. And because I got a part in this movie, what happened was I became a member of the Screen Actors Guild. Now, a member of the Screen Actors Guild means one of two things. You are part of a union and you cannot have the same name as another actor. And at the time in all my business, I'm Angela Brown but I was at the time married and I'm still married, but my married name is Angela Oberer. Now, this is not a secret. Uh, I talk about it in my book that I wrote. I've talked about it on podcasts. We talk about it in our training. I've done lots of training on the things that I learned from acting and how it helped me become a better salesperson. So it's not a secret by any shred of the imagination. But what is interesting is this, because I believe in compartmentalization, the Angela Brown is the house cleaning business and the Angela Oberer, because I had to use a new name because Angela Brown was already taken for the Screen Actors Guild. So the Angela Oberer is the name that I used for my Screen Actors Guild, for the acting, and now for all of the voiceover work that I do. Okay, so it's a separate part of my life. It's a separate everything as far as keywords, search engine optimization, all those things. Last week, we did a show on carpet cleaning and house cleaning and how it's important to compartmentalize those for the best user experience for search engine optimization. So if you were looking for house cleaning, Angela, and you found the voiceover artist, it would be confusing to you. You would say, well, I recognize the voice, but I don't, I don't know what this has to do with cleaning. So for all intents and purposes, to keep it really simple, I use my married name for one and my maiden name for the other. The maiden name has followed me for the last 50 years of my life. I turned 50 this year, yay. So 50 years of my life, I've been Angela Brown. I will always be Angela Brown. And as long as I'm married, I will also be Angela Oberer. Yay, I have two names. Now that is not different from most people who are married who have two names, okay? Most people that are married, they are not scam artists. They just have two names because they merged their life with someone else. So am I, am I a scam artist? Not intentionally but I did intentionally keep them separate for search engine optimization purposes. That is what we call savvy search engine optimization. 
So that is the answer to that question, not intentionally trying to deceive you, except for this. There are things that we all do in our personal lives to deceive on purpose. And for me, one of those things is coloring my hair. I went white prematurely at age 17. So am I purposely trying to deceive you by coloring my hair? Yes, I am, but not to deceive you in business or to take away from who you are or to scam you from money or any of those things. It's actually just to make myself look more youthful. So I apologize if that came off the wrong way. If you think I'm a fraud and a con artist and all these things because I color my hair, gee, I'm so sorry. I know lots of people that have weaves and they color their hair and they wear spanks to make themselves look thinner and they have false fingernails so that they look like they have stronger, thicker, more beautiful nails than the rest of the nails that most of us have. <laughs> and all those things. We all do things in the name of slight deceit, but it's not to destroy someone's credibility or to destroy someone's faith in us. It's just to make ourselves more beautiful and to appreciate the joy that society provides us in having new fashion or making us look younger or any of those things. So am I, am I a scam artist? Not intentionally, but I have done acting in my past and I have a separate name, which is my married name. So I hope that clears everything up. I still have other interests to this day that I'm pursuing right now. It does not take away from the three decades that I've spent in house cleaning. But the things that I'm learning right now are some really cool things that don't have anything at all to do with house cleaning. It does not take away from that. It adds to that. Because of the things that I've learned, I can give you better information. That is not being a scam artist. That is being a mentor and a leader. So forgive me for doing my best. All right, I hope this helps a little bit. If you found this helpful, please pass it on to a friend. If you've been involved in a community where there are you know, questions, feel free to link to this video because that's why I'm creating this video right now. So you have the answers you need. All right, until then, leave the world a cleaner place than when you found it.